Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Pokemon Reborn Let's Play and this is part 38 of the Let's Play just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, so I guess with that we shall get into today's episode. Yo, there you are. So there's definitely something weird here. You feel this glass. If it's warm enough to melt the snow, there's got to be something down there. Still, I can't quite make out what's going on. I remember some kind of rumor about an old glass factory north of a gate, but I didn't think much of it. But that thing was supposed to have shut down ages ago, so that makes this capital shady. I wanted to wait for you before blowing in there myself. But I'd wager some solid coin that that building's gotta have a way down. How about you? 2k says there's an entrance in there, you gonna say there ain't? I don't really bet so no. I wouldn't either. I feel like I said that weird, sorry. Now let's check it out. Let's see here. Well, lot of nothing at first glance. Let's poke around. Something's bound to turn up. Let's see here. Actually, was there even a thing in here that opens it? I didn't think there was. Maybe there is. I've got nothing. How about you? I'm going to take another check outside in case we miss something. Come grab me if you find anything alright. Um, I don't believe... Right? No? I guess not, no. Let's see what he says. Oyelon, help me move this thing. I don't know why this junk's here, but maybe there's something to it. Here, take that side. Aight, let's do this on three, one, two, heave. Hmm. I may not have been there for it all, but even I know that's bad news, mate. Still ain't an entrance, though. I was hoping. I only one thing left to do then. If we can't find an entrance, well, you know the drill. Time to kick some glass. Gigalith rock their worlds, earthquake. Are you kidding me? What the heck is this stuff made of? Gigalith ain't no weakling. I expected this whole place to blow right out. Still, I thought I heard something over there. Let's give it a look. Alright, let's do it. Also, I kind of want to say this as well. Um, not to like, pick on the story or anything. I know there's a few things you can say about it, but like, if this was actual glass and Hardy kind of like did that, I got a big feeling we would probably fall to our deaths if that was actually like normal glass. I don't know, I feel like shaking the ground you would easily fall in there and then just kind of fall to your death i don't know maybe i'm just being dumb i probably am it's not that big of a deal but it's always something that i've kind of thought about just being kind of realistic but it is what it is not a big deal you really are joshing me right now huh out of this whole big plane of glass it's this little spot all the way out here that gives and there just happens to be a ladder down I read that wrong, sorry. I'm just gonna say a ladder down there. Uh, telling you, it's capital shade. I'm not the leader either. Well, we didn't come this far just to stop here. Let's do this. I'll go ahead, careful you don't get cut on the glass. This could get messy. And I guess the Absol is gonna watch us go down. And he's gone. I suppose this is some kind of service entrance, huh? Probably an elevator shaft from the look of it. Let's see if we can't... F s sorry. Let's see if we can't jimmy this bad boy open. 
No dice, huh? Right? In that case, we've got a special technique for these kind of kinds of situations. Watch carefully. Watch closely, mate. Sorry. I don't show this kind of ability just to anyone. See? Works every time. There ain't nothing a bit of scrap metal can do against the sheer force of the human will. Same goes for just about everything. Now let's get this show on the road. Big bro moment. Right, let's see what we've got here. Only two floors in this place seems, and we're on the second right now. Works for me, the less we had to climb down. So let's find Team Meteor and put an end to whatever they got going here. And so they come like moths to a flame. I feel like I said that weird, sorry. Or at least that's what I would say if that hacking phrase weren't so... Grotesically? Grotesquilly? I have no clue how to pronounce that, nor what that that word even means. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, misused. Moths are night-loving creatures. There's no reason they should be attracted to light. Indeed, even when they fly near candles, it is not because they desire to be close to the light. On the contrary, the most popular theory suggests that they are, in their own way, fleeing it. All bodies of light have a light have a slight band of darkness around them humans can see it too though we often do not notice rather than being drawn to light the clever beauties try to hide from it in that null band right under its proverb proverbial proverbial verbal something like that uh, nose it is an ironic or it is as ironic as it is tragic that the very act of escaping that which they hate brings them brings them close enough to be destroyed by it but i suppose that means it suits you perfectly after all doesn't it alon i didn't come here for a for biology for a biology lesson mate that would be ethology mate but that's just as well i suspect such less less lessons sorry would be lost on you anyhow. Alan, you seem well. I would like to apologize for my for my temperament when we last met. That was beyond disgraceful. Nevertheless, please be advised that I have made good on my prior promise. You remember, right, what I promised. If I'm not mistaken, to make things different. So you voice crack. So you do remember. That is, at once, a source of pain and penancia, whatever that means. But I respect your acknowledgement. In any case, I see you have the bracelets, just as Lynn said. Impressive. You know this tool, Alon. No, Alon does not know me. Not even I knew myself back then. And I would appreciate not being called a tool by someone who has only been able to follow the most predictable set of actions. What's that supposed to mean? What, break the glass to get into the place? Don't make me sick, it's like my mother's gym all over again. But of course, any dolt with a heavyweight Pokemon is going to try that. Yeah, and it worked, didn't it? Did it? You don't think it's odd that your stone tank Pokemon couldn't even break a few panes of glass or is it just that weak you want to find out firsthand how weak it is while intimidating and all i'm afraid i must decline your typically brutish provocation unlike you i've learned not to pick fights i know i can't win i may now be a member of the elite four but even i know better than to go one against two especially when two are a rock type specialist and the golden child himself which brings us back to exactly my point but i'll contact the dots connect the dots sorry for you since you seem to have trouble doing that on your own that glass was reinforced with gossamer i think that's how you say that a uh, silk from an Ariados's web not that you could have noticed 
With that covering all but a single spot, there's only one entrance an intruding party would use. And with that, we can be sure where any intruders will end up. And so what? Just because you know where we're, where, you know we're here, sorry, doesn't mean you can stop us. Oh, I'm not here to stop you two. I'm just here to make sure you arrive safely and to tuck you in. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, but it is sure a pity there's no sleep clause for reality. Sweet dreams. Hey, what gives? Get back here and fight. The door sealed. Figures that they try something like... Oh, stuff it. Not again. For a moment. Out cold. I believe, um... That's right, the Glaceon did all of that. Okay. Real quick. That's right, that's downstairs. We came from there. That's to the elevator that got that got cut off. And I believe there's a PC. Yeah, there is. Um, I'll just well. You know, let me bring the team that I normally would use for the gauntlet just to have it. Um. I usually bring a you and you. Hmm. Both of them are good. I'm gonna put back the flag on. And... And I'll put back the Neuvern. Because I do want the Kling Clang. Yeah, this looks about right. For what I normally use. Um, I'll get into it more once we uh, get into the battle. And we aren't gonna be, um, oh, sorry, there it is. Hey, no, you don't. Heard it into the server room for a moment. And stay in there, you ice rat. You again. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. We've had enough trouble with that Glaceon running around all over the place. No way I am dealing with you right now. You just stay out until we finish dealing with this vermin. For a moment um i know i'm not going to be doing um the gauntlet battle this episode i kind of want to get this puzzle out of the way and then uh next episode um i will get into the gauntlet battle so let's teach um you rock smash and break this There we go. Why are you like this? Uh, you deal with a lawn while I teach this thing a lesson. Whatever you say. And I'll pause here until I beat him. Uh, give me a moment. Alright, so got through that. Probably could have seen that coming too. Well, do whatever you want. This thing has been giving us the runaround for a while, but it's not like I really care. Glaceon seems ready to follow you now. I guess we'll open that up. Get a space heater or something. Alright. 
I believe you can also pet the Glaceon. Yeah, here we go. I forgot if that adds friendship points. It probably does, but it's just something I've always done. Uh, plus, fun fact, um, Glaceon is my favorite Eevee evolution. So we'll do that, I believe. There's that. I'm just kind of going through this and just doing them all. I think that should be most of them. Shut up, you mutt. Seriously, the other one is still out there. Quite a feisty one to say the least. Well, don't just stand there. Go catch it. This might be our chance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's you. Has anyone ever told you that you're not a Glaceon? Yes, that's good. You should work on that. And I guess I'll pause here. I will see you guys in a moment. Right, so anyway, bye. It seems to want to get in. And I believe there is a... Isn't there another... There we go. Um, can I... No, you have to get the Glaceon. Whoops. I was gonna go back and heal, because I kinda need to. Um Actually, I mean I did buy revive, so I kinda wanna save them though just in case, but I should be fine. The the Goblin battle from my memory, I know the first time like I did that battle and it was absolutely painful, but after playing the game quite a few times, um, it's not super bad if that's fair to say. Um, hopefully I remember how to go about it. I'm pretty sure I have the right team for it that I normally would use, but we'll see. Uh, that's far enough for a moment and I'll just pause here. Alright, sorry for the pause there. This cage is securely locked, a padlock holds it tightly in place. Not that it really that it's really my place to say this, but the key for the cage isn't here. That thing kept trying to steal it and free itself with telekinesis, so we had to hit it in another room. I think it's somewhere on the south side of the facility, but I wouldn't know where in particular. So don't bother harassing us for it. Oh, well, thanks for telling me. Makes things somewhat easier. Uh, but before I do that... Can I... I guess you need the Espeon in order to do that. Well, that kind of sucks a little bit. Or is it? Yeah, you need the Espeon with you, I believe, in order to move the, the panels. I guess we'll battle him real quick. I'll just pause here. Alright, so go through that. There we go. And I did lose against him just so I can go back to heal, so I should be okay now. Need to use some common candies, though. I'll do that soon. Guess we'll do that. Espeon seems ready to follow you now. It's really cute that you're not out here or that you're out here rescuing Pokemon and all, but that's not going to bring you any closer to the Pulse. Do you really have to mention the Pulse? Oh please, Alon will find it anyway, there's no point in trying to hide it. At least, shut up about it, make them find it on their own. In this mess, yeah that'd be a feat. And especially with the menace on their tail. All it ever does is throw glass around. You know how much we had to clean up? Just take it away already. Big bro moment. 
Um, I guess we'll go... Where do I want to go? Now there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Had to double check. Actually, I might... That's a little bit better. I'm gonna just kind of fast walk here. I forgot what that was there. Um. Take that. Um, let's see what's here. Do that. That's to the one thing. Let me do that for now. Actually, can't you pet the Espeon too? There we go. And I'm sorry, it's been a minute since I've done this. I thought there was a thing that like you were able to take the Espeon like up the stairs with you to like get these areas. There's got to be something I'm forgetting. I know there was something that opened up the elevator though, but I forgot. What did I do? Oh. Okay, there we go. Let me... I should probably move Glaceon somewhere, but I want to find that does that. Well, let me. Does this lead? No? What's in here? Here we go. Maybe this is something. Uh, let me pause. Alright, sorry for the pause there. Oh. Well. Thought I was getting somewhere. What am I... I mean, I guess since I'm here, I'll get this. Um. Oh, 
I was hoping for this just to be like a straightforward puzzle, but I. It's been a long time since I've done this. I just don't remember. I got Glaceon over here. Is there something like upstairs? Am I forgetting something? Cause that's there. That's where we came through. Clearly I can't do that. I don't really want to like look up something though if I don't have to. I, I should remember this, but... Because whenever I try to take them... What am I forgetting? Because whenever I try to take them up, they don't really go up. Hold up. I'm dumb. Let me pause. Uh, I didn't even kill my team. Just run. I'm not even going to try this without healing. Um, I'll pause here um, and I'll beat them off uh, cam. Um, I, I don't know why I totally forgot about that. It just kind of clicked when I came over here. Uh, let me just battle these guys and I'll pause. Uh, give me a moment. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so there we go. That should help out quite a bit. So I need you. And we are going to go on ahead to the elevator that's on this side. There we go. Uh, floor two. Ow, oh, I'm dumb. Floor one. I'll grab that. Can't get that yet. Here we go. Anna is fast asleep. Should Glaceon use Heal Bell? Huh? Alon, you made it, but it's not time to wake up yet. Nostra says if we don't get proper beauty sleep, then our faces will get all wrinkly like the doctors. Oh, I remember. Even the darkest night sky still has stars to guide you. So good night for now. I'll see you again after your bath. Oh. Hi. Why did you wake me up? My sister's the one you want, right? I don't have any answers for you. I don't even know why we're here. Other than because Anna... Because Nostra said so. And Nomos too. That's what she said anyway. It's not like I can actually hear him. She still gets upset whenever I say Nomos is just a doll. I think she just doesn't want to accept reality. But we always have to do whatever Nostra says anyway, so it doesn't matter what I think. That's why there's no point in talking to me. I guess I'll grab that. And let me see. Can't do that. Then... Let's just go all the way around.
And I guess I'll battle you as well. Uh, give me a moment. Alright, so I got through that. Oh, it's just a fire memory. That's okay. That's okay. Um. So then... I think that's pretty much it. I think. I mean, I guess I can, um... Let me try going for the items, because if I'm not mistaken, it's actually pretty straightforward from here, I think. Probably not. I'm probably forgetting something. But I'm pretty sure all that's left is not, not in there, but moving all of those around with um, Espeon and Glaceon. But let me go up here. Oops. Because I want to get a few of these um, items that are in here. There, there, there. No? There, there. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Whoops. I will take that. There we go. And I believe there is, um, not over here, but I thought there was one more. Maybe not, actually. The final one actually just might be down uh, there. And I believe that's a Beedrillite, if I'm not mistaken. I think? Don't really remember. Um, floor two. I just don't remember. Does he move that? Actually, no, you need, um, can I? No, I can't. Um... Do I want to get a... I mean, it's not bad. Let me... Where would I need... Well, how would I... Okay, no, I, I think I get it. Let me see. No. Can I? No. But how do you get the? Maybe like here. Here we go. Yeah, wait right there. And let me go get the Glaceon. I guess you can skip on ahead if you want, but if you are using this as a guide, um, hopefully this may help you get the items. I believe this is the final one, by the way. Now let me see here. Can you wait here? No? How about here? Whoops. Can you wait here? 
Okay. So then I want to get SP on here. Can I get you to like wait here? Okay. So then I want to bring you over here. Uh, same thing. Alright, wait here. And then can I get you to wait? Whoops. Right here? Okay. Let me grab the Glaceon. Over here. Let's. Whoops. Oh, you just walk through it. You gotta. Um. Whoops. Gotta tell it to wait there and then. Do that. It is a V drill light. Okay. Now, since we got that out of the way, um, it's going to be a little bit tricky getting them back, but I don't know. I, I think it's worth getting to three mega stones. I mean, Beedrill is a very, very good Pokemon. Very slept on. Um, well, I should say Mega Beedrill is very slept on. Uh, normal Beedrill, it's not bad by any means, but I wouldn't say it's good either, if that's fair. It, it, it's a solid Mon overall, I would say. Let me see here. I guess I can go... Well, before I do that, I gotta get the... Um... Gotta get the Glaceon over here. Let's get you up here. Swap you out. Real quick, is my team let me before I before I do all of this, let me go heal actually. That's a great idea. And sorry for this being longer than I wanted it to be. I just kind of forgot about the um, the beginning part of the puzzle. Uh, wait here for the one rock smash uh, room. I'm gonna grab you. Let's see here, I believe you put that down. Move that that way. Can I wait here? Because I need help. Oh. Oops. Can I have you wait here? Cool. And I need you there. Wait here. Like that. Um. How do I... What am I...
No, I... No, I got it, because... Here we go. Sorry. At first I'm thinking, like, how do I get the Glaceon over here? But then I kind of just accidentally did that. Okay. Let's do that. Um... Can you... Wait here. Let me get the Glaceon. Or Espeon, sorry. Push you over there. Push you there. Unlock that. Go on over here. Wait here. Let's get you over here. What? Oh. I see what I did. And let me... No. No. You know, I, I don't think it really matters. I don't think you need, um... Um, both of them here anyways, I don't think so. Um, but that's gonna be pretty much it for today's episode. Uh, sorry for it being longer than I wanted it to be. I definitely forgot about, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the one thing with, um, the scientist behind the other rock smash area. Uh, sorry again for that. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is, um, I guess in the video here, like I said before, I would say, I think level 80, well, let me bring you down one more actually, because I know you gain more XP than most. Um, I think this should be fine, and I believe, um, whatchamacallit, I believe this is pretty close to what I had. I don't remember if I had Flygon or Noivern over somebody, um, but um, I know for certain that I did lead with um, Lycan Rock and Talonflame. Um, like I said, I, I won't go super into the team until I get to the Gauntlet battle itself, um, but... Yeah, they play a very, very vital ro role at the beginning of the battle, so yeah. But then other than that, um, I don't really need to explain everybody else. They all do their own thing, so yeah. I also would advise if you are using this as a guide that you do have a decent amount of cotton candy and um, uh, ultra potions, sorry. They are going to be very, very useful for you. Um, and that's why I also have a Musharna is because I want to put stuff to sleep and while I do that it gives me a few turns to kind of slowly reheal the team. Uh, so yeah, there may be more effective ways to go about this battle but I've always found it very very useful um, to kind of put stuff to sleep, reheal everything and then just continue on with the battle but again i'll show you what i do once we get into that so yeah again thanks so much for watching definitely do appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next episode good morning